What are your objectives for the World Economic Forum in the Middle East and North Africa, which this year takes place under the theme Purpose, Resilience and Prosperity? Well, first of all, uh, Morocco takes a great pride in uh, hosting the World Economic Forum on the Middle East and North Africa in Marrakech, which is a privileged uh, tourism destination. Maroc Marrakech is also uh, um, the city where the World Trade, Org uh, World Trade Organization uh, was born back in 1994, at the last uh, part of the negotiation of the GATT. Uh, so Marrakech is also very proud to, to host the World Economic Forum from Middle East and North Africa. Myself, I'm very pleased to co-chair the World Economic Forum on Middle East and North Africa as uh, head of uh, CDG, which is uh, a long-term investor for the last 50 years since its inception in 1959. Uh, I think the, the forum has, uh, uh, is a good place to find solutions for, to unlock growth uh, for the world economy. Uh, it will be also very important to find solutions where the MENA region plays a key, a key role in unlocking the world economic, uh, economic growth. I think that the, uh, the, uh, the environment uh, today is, uh, uh, is ripe to, uh, to integrate the MENA region as part of the world economy, given the huge potential that the, the region um, uh, that the region has. Uh, looking at the, uh, the developed world that was uh, able to accumulate pro productive capital in the last, uh, in the, in the last years, th thanks to debt, which is today a source of uncertainty. When you look at uh, the MENA region countries, uh, the leverage is very low, the financial leverage is low, and that uh, to me represents a good uh, potential to, uh, for this region to unlock, uh, unlock uh, growth. As CDG, we would like to establish dialogues with business and uh, uh, public uh, leaders, uh, civil uh, societies. We would like to show uh, our economic model as a public institution, as a public institution that acts as a private investor for the social development, for the sustainable development of our country. As a whole, I think that the the forum will be a very good platform for people to discuss, negotiate um, the potential of uh, our region and the potential of Morocco as a specific hosting country. Having emerged relatively unscattered the global financial crisis, how can the Moroccan economy respond to the challenge and opportunities of low carbon growth and sustainable competitiveness? First, I think it's very important to mention the uh, Industrial Emergence Plan of Morocco, which had in the, and the identified industrial sectors as the food industry, fishing industry, the textile, electronics, aeronautics, uh, as uh, sectors where Morocco can play an international and worldwide role, thanks to its competitiveness in these uh, sectors. I think that these uh, sectors represent a lot of potential growth uh, for, uh, for Morocco, that will allow uh, Morocco to reduce the share of uh, volatility, and to, sh to reduce the volatility of growth, which is due to the substantial share of agriculture in overall uh, in GDP. I think that the strength in SMEs, the small and medium enterprises, will also be a key role for uh, our uh, leaders in Morocco to to have sustainable growth and to have a high uh, level of growth. And what are the new business geographies that Moroccan business leaders see as strategic for advancing development and prosperity at home and in the Middle East and North Africa region as a whole? The Morocco is a very good platform for growth uh, in, uh, in, the, in the African continent. Uh, Sectors have, uh, some sectors have shown that um, Moroccan companies are able to explore good investment opportunities in the African continent. And that's uh, probably uh, in the finance sector, um, the uh, telecom sector, are probably examples that uh, I, can, uh, I can give in this context. I think that uh, Morocco has uh, shown in the last 10 years that uh, 
the economic model is a good economic model that can be exported to, to other countries. And that's uh, uh, a good bridge between the European countries, maybe specifically to southern European countries and the African uh, countries where the potential of growth is, uh, is tremendous. Thank you, Mr. Thank you.